Alrighty, this one is a fun one. A lot of words, so bear with me. It's an ipsilateral lateral lunge into a snatch into a reverse lunge into a half kneeling windmill. So let's take it down step by step. Ipsilateral, first off, meaning same side. So let's just start everything on the right hand side. Kettlebell is going to be on our right side. We're going to be lunging to our right side. So right here, trying to keep our torso up as high as we can. Nice wide stance, use that proprioception, get your bearings right here. You should feel a big stretch in our adductors. And then as we press back to center, a lot of those abductors. So a lot of that glute med, you're gonna get a lot of quad action to drive us back to center. Just be mindful of that leg that you're doing the lunge with, trying to keep that shin as vertical as you can. So a good telltale sign of that, if you're not in the right position, your knee's gonna be tracking either outside or over your toes or something. So that's kind of your benchmark that you wanna hit in the lateral lunge, trying to have that shin vertical. As we come back to center, we're gonna move that kettlebell out of the front rack position into a hinge pattern, snatching it up overhead. So extending through the hips, big pull of the elbow, using our traps, using our glutes, all that fun stuff, getting it up overhead. We're gonna try and keep that kettlebell as vertical as we can. So if you can picture almost like a string attached to it, that's gonna be hoisted up from the ceiling. So nice and vertical, try and create a nice strong foundation to move into that reverse lunge. And being that everything is gonna be ipsilateral, let's move that left leg back. Same lunge on that right side. Moving into the windmill now, we're gonna look up at the kettlebell. So eyes on that thing, make sure it's not getting away from you as we go into the trunk flexion. And this will be a good test here for the mobility of our hips. So you're gonna feel a pretty good stretch on that right leg as we're going down. Try and get your bearings so the left arm is gonna go down, touch the ground. Feeling ambitious, you can bring that forearm down to the ground just depending upon your level of mobility. Once you get down to that deepest point, now we're gonna use our erectors, using our obliques, still using that shoulder stability to maintain everything. Upright posture. And then we're gonna lunge forward back down to a front rack position. And that's for one. <laughs> So a lot of different movements, take it slow. If you're not comfortable with a snatch, you can just deal with an overhead press. If you're not comfortable with maybe a windmill, maybe just go for a rotation or just hang out in that reverse lunge. Just a really good complex, hitting all the different movement patterns, upper body, lower body, proprioception, core. It's a fun one. Take it slow, see what you can do.